Hey YouTube, it's your girl Marilyn with Fabulous Designs on a Budget. So today I'm going to create a mirrored glass table runner. So you'll need one form cord board from the Dollar Tree. Um, you'll also need 10 octagon mirrors from the Dollar Tree. You'll need four to five round mirrors from the Dollar Tree. Uh, remove the black tabs from the bottom. You'll need a box cutter, a marker, glue stick, glue gun, and a ruler. So let's get started. First you'll want to take all your octagon mirrors and you'll want to uh, place them on your foam cord, touching each other. You're going to lay them out like this. You can clean your mirrors beforehand if you like to. I just didn't clean mine. thought it would be easier just to glue them on. Get them all lined up ease, evenly on the foam board. Once you get all 10 of them lined up, then you're going to take your marker. You're going to go into each little corner and draw a dot. Don't worry about being perfect because that will not show once you cut your foam board. Then you're going to remove your mirrors. Then you're going to take your ruler, you're going to put it in front of, like right by the dots. You can actually cover the dots. Then you're going to take your marker and draw the line. Uh, for, the, for, for the sake of time, I already draw my lines. Then you're going to take your box cutter and you're going to cut all that out. You're just going to cut along the lines that you just drew. This is a really simple project and um, it really looks beautiful. Uh, you can put it on your dinette table, uh, console table. It would even look really nice on your dresser. You're going to pop that out. Just, just go a line on it again. You want to make sure that you got it cut completely because you don't want to try to pop it out and bend it and crack it. For extra weight, uh, I won't do this on camera. I'm going to add um, two little pieces of wood on the ends. Uh, just got to find some thin wood. I'll probably use some sort of shims just to give it a little a little height and more support. There you go. It's coming out now. So when you're done, you should have something like this. And you can lay your mirrors back out just to make sure you know where you want to start blowing. You want to bring it all the way to the edge. Take your hot glue gun. Put some dollops there. Right 
on your first mirror. Press it on. And you just want to repeat this until your board is completely, completely covered. You can even use uh, E6000. I just find the, uh, the glue moves a lot faster. Get that board on and press. Again, don't forget to pull up all the, the little black tabs on the bottom. Otherwise, it'll end up a little lopsided. This will be a, a perfect Christmas, really any any holiday centerpiece. I'm going to use it for uh, my Christmas theme. I'm going to do a winter wonderland, which I'm re getting really excited about doing that. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, so I really go all the way out. I can't wait to share that with you guys. Almost there. I probably should have had these a little further up because you see this little spot here, but I can always cut that off afterwards. Like I said, you can just cut that little, if you don't line it back up on your phone cord board, you can just cut the little pieces off like that. I want to show. You don't really have to worry about the uh, center because the round mirrors will cover that. I think the entire project only cost $11. $11 and you will have a beautiful mirrored center center piece table runner table runner. You should start out you'll have something like that. Beautiful, isn't it? Then you're going to take your your round mirrors pull your tabs off and they're going to sit on top. So you will actually only need four. So I put them on there so I can line them up real good. This one's a little dirty. I have some excellence behind me. 
There you go. Got them all lined up. Let's put a little bit of glue on the edges with the octagon ones. Press your round mirror down on there, like so. Do run out of glue sticks pretty good. Make sure you got enough glue sticks on hand. Again, I just line my glue up on the edges of the octagon mirrors to ensure. Round mirror down there. It's gonna be time to get the Christmas music out. I know it's not. I know Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Actually, it's about in um almost two weeks, a week and a half actually. And I'm talking about Christmas already. I guess because it's my favorite time of the year. Then place your last one on. And this is what it should look like when you're done. Beautiful, isn't it? Just $11. All bought at the uh, Dollar Tree. And you can, um, on the center ones, you can add some candles. I only have three candles here, but you can put them on all four. But I prefer to do it like this. Ta-da! We're all done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my page and hit the notification button so you can get all updates as I do new projects.